Pokemon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. What's well, a good word, friends, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you had a good weekend. I'm your host, Make It Totter. In today's episode, as you can see, we are sitting in Route 6. And if you recall from our last episode, as you can see, there's no spoilers at the bottom because the team is the same. But we did catch our first Pokemon to really bolster up the PC. We already got Gargolo in there, but we did catch, it's your chance for spoilers, we got Blobbert the Reuniclus, uh, which is very nice to have. It's always good we can catch a fully evolved Pokemon out in the wild like that, so we have instant backup. Uh, but that happens, so we're gonna go through Route 6. We're gonna take out some trainers along the way, and then we're gonna go to Parfum Palace, I believe, for some cutscenes. I think we're gonna get a TM as well. And then hopefully we'll be able to get to Route 7 and get an encounter there. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so we're going in with basically the same team. Um, we're not going to really waste any time with a team recap because it's all pretty much the same from then. Uh, so why don't we just jump right in? Let's waste no time on the way as we are just bombarded with this really energetic music. Like, I don't know what's so happy about a Monday, but, but we're going to make the best of it anyway. So... So hopefully we're going to be able to get the rest of the team up to speed. As you can see, I led off with Armaganium, which is going to go up against another Grass Starter. So Flora, we really got to get some, uh, really got to get some levels going. So we're definitely going to get the switch training going, but I might just want to be one this thing anyway. Um, so it's been a couple of days since I've recorded, so I got to relearn. I think I'm fine. I'm not fine. I am not fine. This is how we're okay. I think I think every episode for the last like three or four episodes has begun with some shenanigans that I do not approve of. Huh. Okay. So I already got to turn my brain on here. Um, I think we can get Zed in and uh, go from there. I suppose. Okay. Well, starting off on my back foot, almost lost a Pokemon with the very first move of the game, but we're okay. And it's got Techno Blast. I'm assuming that means it doesn't have an item if it didn't affect me because I am Goose. I am the Goose type. Let's go Shadow Ball. Get this thing out of my face, please. It's got Avalanche. Okay, this thing's got to be a nice type. If it's got two Ice moves, definitely a nice type. And that actually did a lot more than I thought it would, being that it's four levels under me and not fully evolved. This thing is a menace. It is also a menace that's dead. So there you go. Up to level 16. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Let me know in the comments section what y'all did. Um, I, ooh, Coil. Would that be worth it? Would that be worth it? Because that's actually pretty dece. Attack, defense, and accuracy. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, well, let's, uh, let's give our popsicle dinosaur here. Um, do we really need Swift? I really need a normal move. It's not really that fun. Uh, let's get let's get something that allows us to set up. That's fun. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what y'all did. Uh, hopefully you got to have a nice, relaxing weekend as I face a legendary. That's great. Um, but I pretty much spent it just staying indoors. Like I love I love weekends that come along where you have like nothing to worry about. You just do like typical chores. Like I clean the bathroom and just boring crap like that. But. But it's things that I had to get done. But other than that, I got to pretty much just enjoy my time, which is great. Oh, this is this is the altered form too. Okay, okay. So we're not gonna do any shenanigans at all. No hold hands. No, we can't even do hold hands. No happy hour. We're just gonna we're just gonna go right after it. We're just gonna go right after it. And that's gonna do literal. That's a steel type. Okay. That's a steel type. So. I guess let's switch out into, do we have a ground move? Well, we got a ground move on our, on our frozen boy down there. Uh, do we have a fire move? I can't remember. I cannot remember. Check moves. Flying, normal ghost. Uh, let's just get marks in. Why not? Marks is our fallback. We're already burning time on the first strainer of, of the day, so. Why don't we just get on with our day here? Metal Claw. Yeah, that's going to be super effective. I should have seen that coming. And another crit. Man, the crits have just been coming. Like at the worst times. Seam Eruption. 
Injure this thing bad. Okay, close enough. I'll be a poison tail. Don't poison me. That's another crit. Well, I mean, it didn't do much, but what's with the crits early today? Like, what is happening? Like, I guess get them all out of your system. Because I'm not fixing to deal with that all 30 minutes of this episode. <laughs> like, I get that it's Monday and Mondays are going to Monday, right? But come on. Uh, Luigi wanted to learn Steel Winged. I don't think I have a Steel Move, honestly. Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a, I think I'm a mix, actually. I think I'm a mixed attacker. Remember looking at the stats. I'm not going to learn it, though. It's, uh, unreliable at 90, at 90, uh, accuracy. If I, if I can help it, if I can help it, I want moves that hit at 100%, if I can help it. And I also wanted to keep my meme moves, so I wasn't going to give those up. It's going to learn hold hands for as long as I, as long as possible. Unless there's something that I absolutely need to learn. Uh, go back into Luigi. Speaking of which, for this ninja ask, how many Pokemon does this gal have? She got like three or four, for crying out loud. Okay, three. Dragon Breath. Everything is a Steel type. Why? Literally everything is a Steel type, and now I'm on my back foot yet again. I have to go into marks. I can't let this thing get a, a strong rollout going or we're gonna be in big time trouble. Everything's steel type, everything's ghost type. Like uh, those, se those seem to be the two prominent moves right now. Okay, so we'll be able to eat a couple more of those easy, but we gotta get this thing out of here. Let's guess that it's a rock type. Hey, go away. Go away, nerd. You had your types mixed up and your base stat points mixed up and you still suck. <laughs> Stupid ninjask. I mean, it looks cool, but man. There's there's just not a thing good that that thing does. Uh, maybe maybe there's something I'm not aware of. If you ninjask lovers can let me know. Because I, I don't know. I'd be pretty hard to convince, honestly. Uh, before we progress any further, can I heal uh, my frozen boy? Probably not, but I'll still switch train it anyway. So we got one more battle. I think this is the last battle before we actually get to Parfum Palace. We got an Arcanine, and this trainer has three Pokemon as well. All right, so Flora, you've made your appearance. Let's get you out of harm's way before anything bad happens to you. Um, so this Arcanine has high base stat total too, so I, I really do need to be careful. Um, now let's go into Dynablade, I guess, even though that might be a scary matchup, so I might have made a mistake, but I believe, I believe in my Pokemon to get the job done. I believe. And look at that. Look at that. The predicts up and down, up and down predictions. Uh, but here's where it's going to be a normal type as I Shadow Punch. Yay! Called it. As I miss a Will-O-Wisp, or they miss a Will-O-Wisp. Good stuff. So now that I know it's a ghost type, I could switch into, um... Nah, what if we stay in? Let's chatter. Let's just see if we can 1v1 at all. Ah, uh, it doesn't do a lot. I got the confusion. That's nice. Punch yourself! That's that's not punching yourself. That's going to poison me, I bet. Another critical hit. Okay. Okay. Um, So we know for sure it's a ghost type. I have... I could just start knocking off with uh, Luigi. Let's do it. Luigi's pretty high level. I think he can eat whatever. I'm a dragon type, so poison's not going to hurt. Normal's not going to hurt that bad either. And it snapped out of confusion. And I'm burned. So there goes, you know. I completely forgot about... Uh, I completely forgot about... I'm, re I'm really taking a risk staying in. Knock off, I believe. I believe. I believe we're going to eat. Oh, we ate it up big time. Injure it. Wait, what? Oh man, it's got a secondary typing. That negates the super effectiveness of that move. That stinks. That stinks. All right, Marks, you gotta come out and save me again. You gotta come out and save my bacon, like you always do. So this is ghost and either fairy, biting, one of those combinations. I can't remember what else resists fairy. 
or resist dark, rather. Um, fairy fighting. That means poison's gonna be neutral if it is fairy. Uh, rocks. We'll just throw rocks at it. That'll do the job. <laughs> Glyscore over overpowered. Marks don't care about your types, bro. All right, there we go. So we got a Giratina, oh my goodness. And I already forgot, I already faced a Giratina once and I already forget what type it is. You know what, we're just gonna stay in. We're, we're gonna let Marks absorb everything. Another, another origin form. I wanna say it was weak to rocks. I'm pretty sure. It is not, but we almost killed it anyway. Okay, had Electro Web. Uh, it's a rock type now. Uh, we'll just spend a shock it. That'll get rid of it. We'll save the moves. Down it goes. And uh, I think we're through. Or do we got one more? We might have one more. We do. We got a Trevenant. Trevenant coming in. I want to switch train one more time. I think we can get Dynablade in for one more, one more hard switch. But let's see. Okay. Level 11. Switch out. Don't show me something dirty. You're not a ghost type anymore. Don't show me something dirty. Show me something I could take. That's exactly the opposite I asked for. Trevenant, you had, you had one job, bro. One. You had one job. Uh, okay, so Zit is Ghost Electric. It could eat a Rock Tomb. So, we obviously can't stay in. I was I was hoping we'd be able to 1v1 with our with our boy Dynablade, but... Sometimes things just change up, and that's Thunderfang. That's perfect. That is big time perfect. That did a lot for it, not very effective. I know it was 4 HP, but we're already down to like 60% here. Um, I saw the Rock move. I could go Rolling Kick. Let's do it. As the quick claw goes off, show me super effective. That's what I'm talking about. And we got a flinch too. Go again. Quick claw pop again. Oh my god, no! No, that's I think that's fine, right? Psychic. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Don't don't do that again. Don't miss. Thank you. It's like you don't care that we have things to do, Zit. Come on, clean it up. Clean it up, brother. All right, so we got some much needed levels. We did not lose anybody, but holy cannoli are we banged up though. I'm hoping we're not gonna have to heal because I'm, I'm just gonna keep going. We're just, we're just gonna roll right along here. As we spent the first part of the episode fighting two trainers, count them two, uh, but hopefully we can get through the rest of these cutscenes, get one more encounter. Hey trainer, yes you're there young man, Orenberry. Thank you for the Orenberry much appreach. I think we're getting a little too over leveled for orange berries, but you know, I will. No, I don't want to meet other players. How dare you ask? How dare you ask? Me make friends? Are you kidding me? Pfft. Human interaction? Pfft. Answer to be a thousand. Whoa! Easy! You've got to be kidding. It costs money to go inside? Yeah, look at me. Do you think I work? I'm 10. See, the owner of the palace follows the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeesh, that's how the rich get richer. Yeah, capitalism, am I right? Here's your interest fee. Yeah, just throw it at him. <laughs> just throw it. Bah. That's what you get. The proceeds from the entrance fee help pay for repairing and restoring the palace. Probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Act like you know what's going on, my dude. You better let me, like, etch my name in cursive along the side of the wall for that kind of money. See, Serena had enough, or uh, Shauna had enough because she'd stole my money from earlier in the game, so I don't know what she's so upset about. She's paying the entrance fee with my money. Where is it? Where could it be? What is wrong with this man? My fur fro! I, I wouldn't worry about where it is. You don't need that. My beloved little fur fro has disappeared! It disappeared. Hey, Big T, we should help look. I mean, if my if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so I guess we're we're looking for this man's puppet dog. Where would be our first? Uh, 
Hmm. It's eerie. Oh my goodness. I saw that. I saw that little play on words you just did there. I saw that. Okay, there's no dog in here. I honestly forget about what you even do here, so I don't even know the first place to look for look for the old puppy dog. What's going on here? Nothing. 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 Come on, man. You guys gotta have some sort of items. If you if you have enough money to pay to get into this palace, you gotta have something good, right? I mean, maybe silly of me to just assume that, but nothing, 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 nothing. Mueller, Mueller, nothing. I have no idea why I even say that. Like, I know, I know it comes from a movie, and I know it was like a Ben Stein thing, but I've I've never watched the movie. I have this thing where it's like I hear quotes from movies that I never see, and I still quote them anyway, as if I've seen the movie. I mean, I I'll be honest, I don't really watch movies. Like, I watch certain shows. Like, I got a small collection of shows that I love that I'll watch over and over and over again, but I can't be bothered to like watch something new. It's like this, it's like this gigantic Everest-like mountain for me to like start a show. But if I get started on a show, more than likely I'm gonna be stuck on it and I'm gonna love it. Now when it comes to movies, it's even worse because it's like in the back of my head, I'm just like, man, that's like an hour and a half, two hours. I gotta, I gotta commit to one thing and I just, I can never do it. Like, even when I'm sitting down and recording these episodes, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to record one episode, throw it together real quick, and then be done with it. I'm like, I don't want to sit down and record for two hours. I know I'm doing a lot of complaining right now, but I'm just giving you a little little adventure inside the, inside Totter's mindset here. Okay, can I can I find this dog? I feel like I've, I've gone throughout most of this palace by this point, right? Are they actually, like, outside or something? Cause I know, I know you got to go like to the top balcony. Wait, am I here? Or is this where I came from? Have I made it? No. So I got to go out onto the, uh, the, the terrace there or whatever you call it. Maybe. Okay. Mirrors, nothing. Okay. Let's go back to the start, I guess. I think this is the start anyway. Like it doesn't even really give you a hint. You just got to kind of wander around and hope you stumble across it. <laughs> So that's kind of uh okay so we're, we're upstairs let's just let's just go through i can't remember if i came through the bottom or not we'll figure it out i promise the rest of this episode isn't just gonna be me wandering around doing nothing he said as he continues to wander around doing nothing okay let's go have i gone into every door i don't think i have there's no dog in here any dog in here there's no dog in here. Have I talked to you? Oh, you're just saying a bunch of stuff that I don't care about. Okay, let's go downstairs. We're going to figure this thing out. Even if I have to extend the episode a little bit because I've just been spending all my time doing this. I will do it. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Wherever this dog is, it's hiding. It's doing a great job. It's like my cats. Like my cats find the craziest hiding spots. Traveling minstrel, blah, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, no, I would not like to do that. Uh, do you give us any hints? No, you just said your fur froze disappeared. Like, is it going to be out here for any reason? I mean, that'd be kind of silly. No, th there's no way. There's no way. All right, let's keep going. Let's go. Can we go all the way through? Maybe that's where it is. Okay, yeah, now I think it's starting to click now. I think it's starting to click. Here we go. I'll have a looking back. Perfect. I already checked out the entire palace, so you don't have to worry about that, Shauna. It's it's all good. Okay, bug badge, ch chop down trees. Do I even? I don't even think I have that HM yet, actually. Uh, is this an item over here? No. There's an item there though. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Rock incense. Don't care. Don't care. I'm not breeding for a bond slice, so you know, you, you just, you just, I just leave it there. Like, can I drop an item? I mean, I guess I could trash an item if I want, but. Ooh, HM, hello. Or TM, whatever. That, there it is. HM1 cut. Perfect. Okay, so I don't know if anybody recalls, but uh, I made it so that um, I could teach any Pokemon that I want an HM move. Just so that way I don't get stuck with having to switch up my party for the sake of learning a BS HM move. So 
Problem is, is I don't think I can have people forget them, and that stinks. Oh, there's a furfro. Hello. You are quite the problem to find, puppy. It just said egg in French. It says oof. <laughs> Big T, give me a hand. Okay. I'll go find this dog that just yelled egg. Path over there leads to a dead end. Let's split up, chase for fro, and corner it there. Okay. Keep it from getting away. Pick a spot for me to stand. Somewhere like over there. Over there. Um. Okay, so I gotta. I really don't remember. Oh, that's where the fur frail is now. Okay. So how about I do this? Can I make you stand? Can I make you stand here? Do I talk to you? Um. No, that doesn't work. I want you. I want you to stand somewhere. Uh, sure. Wait there. Let, let's see if that'll work. I honestly can't remember how this goes. It's probably gonna run to the right now. Uh, yep. Okay, so that means it's just gonna run in a circle now. So I need... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you with me. I don't think you can wait anywhere up here. So I'm gonna chase you down. And then over here. Um... Wait here. I'm probably doing this all wrong. If y'all are screaming at me, I understand. Let's do this. Nope. That means... Okay, so I'm, I'm still just stuck in like this... Um... Okay, so that means if it's running down there, can I have her wait here? Or is it just going to run across on me? Ooh, yeah. Do this. Up it goes. Did I do it? Are we close to cornering it? Maybe it'd be better if I waited over there? Where is it at? Um, can I bring you with me, Shauna? I need, I need you. Yeah, I think I got it. So we're gonna have you wait here. Yes. And then I'm gonna go up here. And then it's gonna run down into a hole down there. Yes. We did it. I'm good at video games. Whew, well done, we finally caught it. Big T, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. I just know how to corner them. That that had nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, my dear Furfro, my beloved Furfro. Could you be the two responsible for my wonder Wonderfro reunion with my dear Furfro? Come on, man. I, I kind of want to let it run away now. How Wonderfro indeed. Now I really want it to run away. It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. You shall put on a show. Boom, boom. My Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate this joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. It's kind of a kind of a extreme, I and mean, your dog didn't go that far. It will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble you went to. Rendezvous at the balcony. Do you understand? Rendezvous. You can reach the balcony from the hall with mirrors on the second floor. You see, I know where that is because I ran through the entire palace for no reason. Maybe for Frodo, even better off if we hadn't found it. Yeah, see, Shauna gets it. She gets it. If I were a Pokemon, I'd hate to have a trainer like that, but I really love fireworks, so let's make the best of it. Let's go. So we can't we can't hard cut to it. Cause it's not like we're gonna come across anything interesting, I don't think. I would assume not. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's another maze over here. Do I get another another item? Maybe, maybe. Um, nope, nothing here. No, it's just a bunch of just a maze of nothing. It's just here for decoration. Which, you know, whatever. Oh, hey, item. Oh, Charizard I X. X. Let's find a Charizard, huh? Let, let's get a Charizard on our team after finding that. That would be lovely. Okay, I have... Oh, I can't even use my rollerblades. That's dumb. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, we'll leave this area. Uh, item. Oh, with another item. One more item. How about another... Lucky... No, I don't want these incenses. They're stupid. They're dumb. I wonder if that luck incense actually increases crit ratio if you give it to somebody. I'll have to look that up because maybe that might be helpful if I get somebody with uh, uh, super luck because that would be great. I remember. Uh, wait, I think I'm going the wrong way. OK, there's no item over here. But uh, there was a team that I made uh, for VGC, if there are any VGC players out there. Um, I made a team that utilized an unpheasant with super luck and focus energy. 
and I would just crit everything into oblivion. I'm going the wrong way. Apologies. But but it was a lot of fun. Like you could set it up in one turn, um, assuming that it doesn't get hit. But uh, yeah, I would just uh, I would set it up with focus energy and I would dynamax it with a life orb and it would just destroy everything. <laughs> it was really nice. Um, I think I got to go. Um, man, I was just here, too. Oh, it's got to be this way, right? Yeah, I think it's this way. No, go back. Thank you. And here's the back or no, not that way, but this way. OK, we made it. Now let's watch the the 3DS strut it stuff once again. What a tender moment. Oh, my goodness. So nice. Um, you know, I never watched fireworks alone with a boy before. Well, that's about to change, isn't it? Yeah, show off that 3DS prowess. I haven't even seen them yet, but I know I'll never forget these fireworks because I watched them with you, Totter. How sweet. How adorable. Man, this dude really went all out just for finding his dog that wasn't truly lost. It's like, I'll spend every dollar I have to light up all these fireworks for you too. Wow, that was amazing. I never ever want to forget this. So I'll keep this memory in an album in my heart. How sweet. And that was my wonderful fireworks show for my fur fro. I assume you're satisfied with that. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, we gotta get that poker flute. That is the whole reason we came here. I forgot too. That's right. We need the flute to wake up Snorlax. Ah, <sighs> the poker flute, huh? So you really didn't care about my fireworks. Just go get it. I am so distraught. It was Shabano Castle's treasure, but it took it as a payment for a loan. A rich guy like me and a common person like that just didn't go together. Okay then. Give it to them. He's so demanding. He's like, go get it. Give it to them. Here's the poker flute. How about you give me back the thousand dollars that you made me pay to enter enter this place? That'd be nice. Listen well, you two. Always return what you borrow. That's very important. Yeah, so give me back my thousand dollars that you borrowed from me. <laughs> I want to make lots of memories on my journey, but I think I'll try and forget about him. I agree. You can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. That may be so, but... Oh, that's right. Mr. Butler, do you know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in the palace library. It has something to do with what you now call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. Spite? That's what I think of that. Y you keep it. You're rich and that's what you get me, huh? Protect blocks opposing Pokemon's move. Yeah, that's that's not what's what's happening here. So just please leave. I want to leave. The owner of Shabano Castle used to be friends with that guy. Can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? We have to be sure to give that flute back after we wake up Snorlax. Well, let's let's just go do that. Uh, I want to leave. Thank you. OK, so let's see if we can get right on out of here. I think we have to wake up the Snorlax and I don't think we battle it. I think it'll just up and leave and then we can get ourselves an encounter. And that would be a good place to end off after I get out of here. I, do, I, I'm so bad. Oh my goodness. I'm so bad with directions. Like you guys have no idea, like just IRL as well. Like, like I drive a route for work every day and I have that memorized now cause I've driven it for, you know, six years, but like just any other place, like my friends have the best recollection of like how, um, how directions work like they they see where they've driven to like one time and all of a sudden it's just implanted in their memory i don't have that i do not have that and i don't want to go this way because i'm going to get encountered by trainers uh do we go this way yes we do okay but yeah i could drive to a place over and over again like when, when i was in high school going to like friend's house and things like that it would take me like five six seven trips just to get the gist of where i'm going 
and that I finally understood like, you know, main streets and how they all interconnect, but things like that just never clicked with me and I don't know why. I don't. Uh, before we go any further, let's go heal because it would be very, very bad if I did get into a fight with a Snorlax that I don't know about because I am, I am severely damaged. Nurse Joe, you have no idea how happy I am to see you. Can you please unthaw my Meganium? Can you please heal the burn on my Bell Sprout and just make everybody happier in general? Thank you very much. Your kindness will never go unnoticed, I assure you. Back to Route 7. Oh, I can use my rollerblades now. Let's utilize that. What took you so long? What were you guys doing? Oh my god. Oh, it's you two. Did you actually manage to borrow the polka flute? Why is no an option? Why? <laughs> Thanks. Well, you're the one who can play it, right? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up and it might attack. Okay, maybe that's why. That's just, you know, giving us a chance to, to prepare. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yes, I am. Let's go. Okay, but it asked us twice then. Okay. Feels nice to have this flute in my hands again. Okay, I guess we'll start playing. Starts playing like Careless Whisper. <laughs> do, 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 do. That is completely different than what I expected. Let's see if it started playing Careless Whisper, then Snorlax might be getting ready for mating season or something. <laughs> and yes, we're gonna fight it. This is gonna be randomized. And it's a Galvantula. I like it. And this is a static encounter, so this isn't even Route 7. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's attempt to catch a Galvantula then. Which I feel like we faced one of these, and I want to say it's ghost type. But I'm not sure. Uh, either way, I'm going to... Boy, I am taking a huge risk staying in on a Pokemon that's fully evolved and a uh, higher level than I am. But I'm going to do something anyway. Tail Whip. Okay, that's a pretty unfortunate move to have, but it's also unfortunate that my defense is lowered. Now I really don't want to stay in. So it resists electric, which means it's probably electric itself. Because I don't think there's anything else. No, dragon resists, grass resists. So it could be dragon, grass, electric. Um, So I won't go in on Luigi just for that fact. Um, Dragon, grass, electric. Uh, I'm going in on Titan in case it is dragon, since I'm fairy type. Let's do that. Let's do that, see if we can get this thing lowered down so we can catch it. It's got flash cannon, come on, bro. Come on. That wow, that did nothing. Okay, that tells me it's probably not stab. Or it's um or it's um special attack is really low. Um well since we saw that, steel doesn't resist electric, so it's not that case. Yeah, so I don't think it's a steel type, so I'm gonna throw out a disarming voice anyway. I might have just killed it, but. But I don't, I don't think so. I think I think we're okay. Okay, that was neutral. That was neutral. Um, I'm going to do it one more time. Get it in the yellow, knowing I can take another flash cannon, even at a crit. I could actually technically take another one if I wanted to. But there's no... That was a crit. And this thing's taking a berry as my computer just pukes up all over itself. <laughs> Apologies for that. But yeah, that citrus berry was really annoying. Um, so knowing full well that I could take another crit, I could damage it one more time before I ultimately switch out. Which is just a massive risk. But I mean, I did the math. We should be okay, right? Oh, it's got discharge too. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, come on, I can't get in the red, please. Uh, okay, so it's got electric and it's got, so that means it's probably an electric type, right? Um, so, I saw, yeah, I saw steel type too. Uh, but marks can eat anything. I just need marks to come in here and eat hits while I just start chucking balls. So I can start chucking balls. Got mold breaker out, there's nightshade. Which actually, that's the worst thing to see. That's the one that's gonna hurt the most for marks. But anyway, let's start throwing balls. Um, I have great balls. Hopefully, hopefully being in the yellow is good enough. But I might wind up throwing a, a handful though. One, two, oh please in one ball. That'd be wishful thinking. <laughs> okay, 
so I'll throw at least a couple more. If this thing's gonna start throwing nightshades, it's gonna it's gonna whittle me down pretty quickly. Pretty darn quick. But come on, let's get out of here with just a couple of balls thrown. Nobody hurt. One, two, three, how about it? Oh baby! Oh baby, let's go. So that is how you end an episode with a capture just like we did last time. It's so nice, it's so nice, it's so nice. Got some levels out of it, which is always good. So what type, what is this, electric? It's also electric ghost, okay. We got one of those already, but that is nice. Um, Boy, I haven't really thought about a, uh, a name for this thing, but um, let's see here. If I'm going to call a Galvantula anything. Um, come on, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Lamp. Lamp. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. But it's lamp. I don't know. It's electric type, whatever. I looked up. I was like, what's the first thing I, I think of? I looked up at my lamp. It's lamp. Sorry. Sorry. That's not a very fun nickname, but that's what it's called now. So there you go. Oh! The only thing I could do with the polka flute is put it on display. But you've been playing since you were little and the tone is lovely. It seems like my fur fro also likes the sound of that flute. Not not as much as it likes my beautiful, wonderful fireworks, of course. Yeah, because dogs, dogs love fireworks, you dummy. Yeah, I guess so. Still, your playing sounded better back in the day. I'll let you take care of that flute, so be sure to practice more. What is up with that, dude? <laughs> I love how they just kind of shoot us a look and then they run away. What's that supposed to be, an attempt to pass things up? Well, whatever. All's well that ends well. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. All right, well, we're gonna find that out in the next episode, as we have run over a little bit on time, but a lot of that was pretty much because I was fighting those trainers earlier, and uh, yeah, they were, they were tough. Uh, but yeah, the sound of the music, which means it's the end of the episode, and I appreciate you guys for joining me on this journey as we ended the episode with yet another capture which is really nice so in the next episode we're going to go through route seven hopefully get another encounter and make our way to the next town but i hope you guys have yourselves a great monday and we'll see you back here on wednesday